Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Inferno. I was not planning on making a second video on this game. It was just supposed to be a one-time thing. I thought the game looked kind of cool and I wanted to give it a try. But you guys really enjoyed the first episode according to how many likes the video got. So I'm going to play some more today. Let's go burn some more stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Chimney Stuffer. We now have three new things that we have not tried before. First of all, we have the Antiki Torch. Be careful not to place it next to your thatched hut. Good thing I don't have a thatched hut, or that could be pretty bad. Okay, let's buy it for seven bucks. We also have whatever the hell this is. It is my pictures. You can burn the pictures, but you can't burn the memories. But you can always forget the memories if you really want to. Okay, so it turns out you can actually choose from a list of pictures, so I just chose a picture of my cat, and I'm gonna burn that little bastard. Also, while we're at it, we are going to burn a spider. Oh shit, that's a spider egg. That is not a good thing. An entire generation in the palm of your hand. Holy crap. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. I want to burn spiders because they're spiders, but I also don't want to burn because the spiders are going to come out and they're going to eat me. Okay. Box number one. Ta-da! It is the Tiki Torch. We're just going to lay that over here in the corner. No big deal. Just lay it there. Boom! Number two is a picture of my cat from when he was a kitten, actually. This is Will. I'm sorry, Will, but you're going to burn in a fire. I didn't know this was a thing, okay? I didn't know you could burn your pets. And now I'm burning my pets. <laughs> Whatever. And I'm also going to burn this spider egg. I'm going to burn this first, okay? I need to get this out of the way because this is going to be terrifying. There you go. Oh, just a little bit more. Are they going to pop out before it actually starts burning and just freak out? Wait, spiders give you a lot of money. This guy just gave me a doll two dollars. Okay, two C coins. I don't know what the hell you're supposed to call them. That's cool. And now we're going to burn the spider egg. Boom, spiders came out. Burn, you little fuckers. Burn. <laughs> Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. I'm just excited to burn spiders, guys. I apologize. And the Tiki Torch. It's a torch, so it's a good thing that it's burning, right? That's what torches do. Boom. Eight bucks from that. I guess that was the, from the torch, right? And this spider up here. You're dead, bitch. Still, I haven't had to use my uh, my stamps. But there's actually a lot of pages in the, uh, the little catalog thing. I think we got a letter we got to read first, though. And then we'll go back to the catalog and finish off page one. What? Little Inferno is filled with secrets, and I just found one. Don't worry, I won't tell you. That would be a spoiler. <laughs> but it's really good. Okay, I'm just going to draw something here. It's an alarm clock and a flower. I think that's a flower. Not really sure. And tell you to definitely do not burn those two things together. <laughs> Good, thank you. Thank you very much for that. And there are more. More combinations than can ever be listed. Love, Sugar Plumps. Thank you, Sugar Plumps. You, she's getting, like, really crazy. I'm just going to point that out because she used to be kind of a cool lady. And she was all like, hello, what's up? And now she's fucking, fucking insane. Thanks for the letter, Sugar Plumps. I think I'm just going to burn this thing because you're kind of a creepy lady. Goodbye. Okay, let's have a look at the combos here, guys. We have a springtime combo, generations combo, lenders combo, and movie night combo. I am going to go buy a flower and an alarm clock and see what happens. Here's the alarm clock. Um, oh, is this a flower? This is flower seeds. Is that what it, that, does that count? I don't really know what it's supposed to be. I'm just going to try it, okay? We bought the seeds and we bought the alarm clock. Now let's burn them together. I'm going to use a stamp on this one just because, okay? I've never done it before. Boom! It's a stamp. Sweet. So the alarm clock goes over here, and the flowers go next to the alarm clock. I'm going to put it on top of the alarm clock. I'm not even sure if this is going to work, but here we go. Cha-ching. Hey, we got the springtime combo. Woohoo! Oh, man, this game makes me so excited. I just I just want to just scream things and burn things at the same time, which is I mean, it's what I do in real life anyway, so it's not really a big deal, right? Yeah? You guys do that too, right? I'm not crazy? Good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the last three things on the first page of Chimney Stuffer. First up, we have Celebration Bus. Zoom, zoom, where does it go? Only the bus driver knows. I guess I'm the bus driver today, because you motherfuckers are burning. <laughs> is this supposed to be a bus full of kids? Is that what that is? Because I'm excited. This right here is a blankety bank. Giving out pretend loans since the late 80s. Cha-ching! That is ours. Put that money in the bank. It's funny, because the money is going to come back out of the bank when we burn it. Hmm. And last but not least, we have a television. 
You can change the dial, but there's only one thing on, and that thing is fire. Let's just uh, let's wait a few seconds here, okay? This box is got. Oh, oh, we got mail. We got mail to hell with that box. We gotta see what the mail's about. Oh shit, my favorite time of day. It's letter time, it's letter time. If any of you guys have ever watched the show Video in Arcade Top 10, it was an old show, I think it might have came on YTV or something. Might only have been a Canadian thing. But either way, it was a good show. And that's what they said in the show. Breaking weather report. Oh, this is someone else. It's gonna be another cold one, folks. The snow's been coming down faster and faster. Every day colder than the last. That can't last forever. <laughs> Build a nice cozy fire and stay warm inside, folks. <laughs> Reporting from the weather balloon over the smokestacks, over the city, the weatherman. Thank you, weatherman. You're a great guy. Thanks for warning me about the weather and stuff. I'll try and stay warm by burning everything that I own and love. Bye. And burn the letter. So now we're gonna take our box of a bus full of children, and we're gonna take our box with the bank, and we're gonna take our box with the television, and the children, oh, oh, and the children are gonna watch television and go into the bank and die. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them all on top of each other. There you go. That ought to do the trick. No, bring the wheels over. They're not supposed to fall off. Jeez, the hell do you think this is? This, this is serious business right here. Burning children and banks and televisions. Whoa. What the hell, man? There is a television that is showing what we're doing right now. I didn't expect that to happen. It's like a television inside a television. And you see inside that television, there's another television, and there's another television inside that television, and television inside that television, and so on and so forth, all the way down to infinity. That's amazing. I love that. I love infinity, man. Infinity is such a cool concept. Let's burn it. Let's burn the infinity. No more infinity television for us. And no more children. And no more banks. Where you're going, you won't need money. Because... Whoa. That is fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much for dying. That was great. <laughs> I need to take short breaks when I'm recording just so I can get my voice back and just pump myself up before I start talking again. Whew, whew, whew. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now done with page one of the chimney stuffer. It's time to move on to page two. Let's see what we got. The new catalog is available for just $75. One purchase, one payment of $75. None of that crazy infomercial crap where you gotta make three payments of $24.95 or whatever. Let's buy it. It's done. Instant. Okay, how much is this stuff here? Okay, only seven bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, the raccoon plushie could be yours for only seven dollars. So cuddly and adorable, you can't not hug him. May contain rabies. And also, don't hug him if he's in the fire burning. Twelve sec seconds and he is all yours. Ba boom. And we also have the space heater. Now made with 30% drier wood. Why do you need a heater when you're putting it in the furnace or the, the fireplace or whatever the hell you want to call it? I don't know, but we're going to do it. Boom. And we also have a squirrel whistle. The gentle sounds of nature, only a firm squeeze away. That sounds kind of horrible. I love it, let's buy one. Okay, now let's take a look at our raccoon. Do you got rabies, bro? He seems to be pretty cool, he doesn't seem to have rabies. It did it say 30% chance of rabies? Was that what that said? I know it was a 30%, let's go back, go back and check. Nope, nope, 30% drier wood. May contain rabies, I apologize. Well, um, he seems okay to me. I'm just gonna assume he doesn't. Wait a second, there is two males coming in for us today. Two males, we gotta read this shit. Holy crap. Oh, you've already found my secret catalog. Did you know? Your little inferno comes with a free instructional video. Love, Miss Nancy. Oh, oh, we get to watch a video. I think I've seen this one. Do you like toys? Yeah. You know what's more fun than playing with toys? Huh? Setting them on fire. Yeah! With your new Little Inferno Entertainment Fireplace. Yeah! Yay! It's Little Inferno, it's Little Inferno just for me. I've got the fireplace that burns at a hundred billion degrees. It's Little Inferno just for me. This is awesome! Shove them in the fire and breathe in the flame, they will burn me. 
it's little inferno just for me. Out of your chimney, way up in the sky. It's been snowing for years, and we just don't know why. Our world is getting colder, but there's no need for alarm. Just sit by your fire, burn all of your toys, and stay warm. Well, thank you so much for that video. Um, but yeah, okay, I'm gonna put that in the fire and burn it for sure. That was a great time. What else we got here? Little Inferno Fireplace is pretty much my favorite game! Even though it doesn't make any sense. Buy stuff, burn it, and it gives you more money than when you started. <laughs> I love free stuff! That can't last forever. Oh, I hope they release a free update of Little Inferno Fireplace with pink logs from Sugar Plums. Thank you, Sugar Plums. P.S. Shh. That thing in the back. It looks like a face, but it's not. Oh, no. What could it be? But it can see you. Well, thank you for that. Now you freaked me out. I thought he was a cool old dude. Look at him. Look, he's just sleeping. Okay. If you can sleep through uh, a fireplace burning a school bus full of children, you can sleep through anything. Trust me. I've been there and I've done that. Okay, what is next on our list of things to burn? The raccoon. He's like, uh, bro, you, you gonna you gonna get going here? You gonna do something, bro? Because I'm waiting around for you to do something, bro, and you haven't done anything. Get back in the corner. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to break your body parts off. I was just trying to scare you a little bit, you know? Like, hey, punk, get the hell out of here. Not, uh, here, have some brutal murder. But he seems to be alive, so we'll just, uh, just won't worry about it. In the next box is the heater. Now, what happens if you put, put the little raccoon next to the heater? Is it gonna get too hot and burn? Probably not. He doesn't seem to care. And we also have the squirrel whistle. Can we, can we blow it? That doesn't sound like a squirrel whistle. It sounds like a squirrel. I bet he'll whistle if you put him in the fire. Oh! He's on fire! That wasn't whistly enough for me. I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate that, man. Needs more whistle. I'm not gonna lie. Now let's pick up all our money and get going here. Boom! Oh, and the spider also decided to crawl into the fire and die. We're getting more money for the spiders now. Have you noticed that? We started off, we're getting one dollar, and then sometimes we got two, and now we're getting three. Hmm. Good. Good. More money is good. Nope. Oh, here's another one. What do we got? Three bucks. Sweet. Hmm, what the hell is this plus button right here? Upgrade mailbox. Hmm. Upgrade your mailbox to hold one additional item. I don't think I need that right now. I like doing three at a time. And ladies and gentlemen, today's three products are... The Fragile Bulbs causes more puncture wounds than the leading brand. That is pretty impressive if you ask me. We also have whatever the fuck this thing is. It's an eager bunny plushie. Glimpse into the heart of darkness. Okay, I'll do that. That sounds great. And we also have... Best Friend Supplement Pills. Banned internationally, but totally safe here with an asterisk, which we can't read the fine print on. So we're just gonna assume it's definitely safe. And the asterisk probably means that it's extra safe. But we also have enough money to buy one more thing if we want. I think we can. We can buy a Feelings Bear plushie. Always ready for a hug. This guy is super creepy and super worth the money. Boom. Let's go back and see what we got. Oh, my favorite time, opening gifts. Oh, we get three light bulbs. Let's throw those in there. One, two, whoop, two, and three. Just everything is smashing, it's great. I should probably get rid of this stuff too, so we got some more room. Um, Yeah, I was gonna say, how are we gonna burn these light bulbs, but they still got the little parts left in them right here. So you can burn that, I suppose. Cool, and we got this guy. I think he's the one with rabies, if you ask me. Like, look at this shit. Ah, ooh, ah I gotta burn you right now, I'm not even gonna wait. <laughs> He's dead. We're good. Kill that guy too. Thank you. 
And we also have this. What the heck? What the hell did I say this was again? It don't even matter. As long as it burns. If it's flammable, that's all that matters. There you go. I gotta burn these lights too. Oh, look. There they are. There's the pills. Oh, they popped. Everything is popping. That's lovely. Thank you for that. And the last thing we have is this bear. <sighs> I don't like this guy. Okay, you hear those noises? Let me see if I can toss him and, and catch him again. I don't want him to fall in the fire. I just want to make noise. <laughs> oh, oh, watch it. Your hand's on fire, bro. Your hand's on fire, bro. Bro. He's not making any noise. He's, he's making, like, giggly noises, but he actually didn't make a single noise. The hell is wrong with you, man? Don't you have feelings? Aren't you a real bear? Okay, I'm just... Oh, oh, yep. Yep, making that disappear. Is that that didn't make me feel comfortable at all. Okay, let's get some more stuff, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the totally recalled toys, apparently. I didn't even notice to see what that was. Okay, this is why these guys are all fucked up. Because the first page is actually the chimney stuffer, and this is a totally recalled toys. Next on our list of totally recalled toys that are totally not bad and totally should not be burned, we have... The oil burn. Studies show that oil spills help baby animals float. But they're dead, so I don't know if it really counts. But anyway, the next thing we have is building blocks. Great for the budding young architect. And last but not least, we have the snake surprise. Your friends will never suspect it isn't filled with snakes. That's the surprise. That's a good surprise. I like that. Let's do it. Let's go back out and burn this shit. This is number one. Got our boat filled with oil. Or something along those lines. Put that over in the corner. I'm going to use it to sweep the floor. Look at that. Sweep, 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 sweep. And there's a little tiny piece left. Throw that in the air and it should disappear. Yep, it disappeared. Sweet. Now, oh, 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 we got an important piece of mail here, guys. We got an important piece of mail. We're not going to open it yet. Okay, just calm down. I know you want to open it, but we got to throw these in the fire first, these blocks. We could build something out of them. Let's build something out of the blocks. And put that little, oh, shit. Ah, I made it fall over. Try again. And lay that there like that. Okay, we're good. Pick this up, and we're gonna lay on top like the shit. And you're gonna go right here. Got it. Okay, and this. Well, now we got nowhere for this thing. Can you can you just lay on top of that? Is that cool? Yeah, you can. Okay, great. Move that over there. And it's a masterpiece. Look at that. And we have these surprise snakes. So we'll just burn all that stuff real quickly and gently, and you know, lovingly. You gotta lovingly burn your toys, guys. That's what you do. Surprise snakes in three, two, one. Surprise! <laughs> Wait a minute. That ain't snakes. The hell is that? Maybe it's supposed to be snakes. It looks more like syringes. And the oil blew up. All right, I'm just gonna collect that money. Thank you very much. Oh, there's more money coming out. It never stops. The money is always coming. Except now, because the money's gone now. Okay, it's time to read our letter. Sweet. Okay, guess what? I'm making you something. Because you are my pretty good friend. Even though you never reply to my letters. Okay, but you have to send me something first. The thing you need to send me is red. And attractive. And has long invisible arms. Ha 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 ha, no. It's not love. Ew, it's magnets. Okay, I need a magnet. You, I can do that. I'm going to send you a magnet right now. You wait one second, okay? The magnet is coming. There we go. Buy that. 15 seconds from now. I'm going to put a stamp on it and everything. Because I'm just crazy about you, ma'am. We grab that. Grab the uh, mail. And we're going to put the magnet in. Boom. Sand. It's done. We just got to wait for a letter to come back. I'm not even wearing a watch, so I can't really look at my hand. Any second now. I bet she's... Oh, there it is. There it is. Sweet. Okay. It wasn't really important mail. I guess it was just mail you had to send something back with. Let's read the letter. Okay, thanks for the magnet. I can tell there is something special about it. Did you notice too? What? Don't worry, I'm still making you something. I'm not very good at deadlines. But you can have this for now. I think it's broken. It's a thermometer! Oh, sweet! I can put it in the fire. There you go. What the hell? Put it in the fire. You're not supposed to put out the fire. You're supposed to catch on fire, damn it. Boom! That's the way I like it. I like it when things explode. It's my favorite. There's a lot of favorites that I have. One of them is killing children in a bus, and the other one is making things explode. And I think the children in the bus exploded, so that was like a double whammy for me. It was fantastic. 
All right, guys. Well, I think this is a good place to end this video. If you do want to see more Little Inferno, let me know. As I said before, you guys really enjoyed the first episode, and that's why I'm making more. It's really hard on my voice recording this, so I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. <clears throat> see, see what I mean? See what I mean? It's hard on the voice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.